Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of my road to 100,000 euros and today I got a really nice dividend stock for you guys. It pays almost 7% in dividend per year. 7%. If you compare that with how much you get from the bank and your savings account, it's 700 times more. 700 times. So imagine if you put 10,000 euros in this stock, you will receive almost 700 euros per year in dividend payments. 700 euros. If you put the same 10,000 euros in your savings account, how much will you receive? One euro. And no, dividends are never guaranteed. But the interest rate of the bank is also not guaranteed because if they decide to change it, you cannot do nothing about it. They will just change it. Like the last few years, we saw it going down and down. Every month, basically, you get an email Oh, your savings interest rate is going down. And with dividends, yes, it's not guaranteed, but this company hasn't missed a quarter paying dividends since 1984. And since 2003, they steadily have been increasing their dividend payment. Okay, so maybe it's not guaranteed, but you can really say that they will pay you for sure this dividend the coming years. Welcome back everyone, my name is Wietse Kouwboer and this is episode 8 of my road to 100,000 euros. And in this series I share with you guys the stocks and ETFs that I purchase on Boxero and the Giro. Every month I invest 1250 euros and I show you guys my progress. And if you also want to invest on Boxero or the Giro, check the description where I have a link for both platforms and if you use that to make an account we will both get a nice bonus before i show you guys the big paying dividend stock that i purchased i want to remind everybody that i'm not a financial advisor and i'm simply posting my investments and my opinions here and if you also want to invest please make sure you always do your own research Without any further ado, let's dive into the video. AT&T, I don't know if you guys know this, but AT&T is one of the biggest telecom providers in the world, even bigger than Dutch Telecom. And you might say another telecom company is that smart to do. I made a rule for myself saying that I don't want to invest more than 15% uh, in one sector. And by buying into AT&T and Dutch Telecom this month, I made sure I will stay below 15%. Actually, let me check that. Yeah, 12%, so not that much. Also in my ETF, some is covered here. Yeah, Deutsche Telekom is 5% of my portfolio and AT&T 6%. So, and then I have some in my ETFs also communication related, but that's pretty good. You know, it's not too high. And yeah, I did a lot of research about uh, dividend stocks right now and AT&T and Deutsche Telekom really good. The, if you think the dividend yield of Deutsche Telekom is good, the dividend yield of AT&T is amazing. Right now for the price it's trading, it's almost 7%. So for every 100 euros, here you can see it's 6.83%. So for every 100 euros you invest in AT&T, you will get paid almost 7 euros per year. That's insane. That's like super nice. Okay, maybe the stock price won't go up and down as much, but if you get a steady 7% interest on your money, that's pretty good to me. So let's go to AT&T. What does AT&T do? They do a lot. I don't know if you know HBO. This, uh, the movies, the streaming uh, stuff. They own that. Yeah, so they basically have two sections. Connect and entertain. Wireless, internet, 5G, fiber they have. First net, I don't know what it is. They do for consumers and businesses. They do a lot. And also if you look at entertainment, what do they do? Warner Media, HBO, AT&T TV. So lots of things over here. Largest communication company in the world. If, if you look at uh, revenue here, if we look at the fourth quarter and full year results of last year, here's some highlights, a revenue of 45 billion in three months. That's 15 billion per month. That's crazy. Cash from operations, 10 billion. Free cash flow, 7.7 .7 billion. It's pretty good. This, I'm talking about a quarter here. Total dividend payout of 49%. Dividend payout ratio is calculated uh, by how much free cash flow there is and then how much of that amount is paid out in dividend. So if it's 100%, it would be 7.7 .7 billion. If it's 50%, well, 3.7 
what is it 3.85 billion so you don't want this number to be too high because if the payout ratio is let's say 90 percent or a hundred percent that means that they pay out all the or almost all the the free cash flow they make as a company in dividend and why is that not good because what if something happens and all of a sudden they make less money in a year then they cannot sustain the dividend payments anymore because they don't have that kind of money coming in anymore so if a small thing happens to the business they make less profit or re less revenue they cannot sustain the dividend anymore and another reason is they don't have any money left over to invest in the business for growth if a company is paying 90 or 100 percent of their free cash flow to in dividends that's not really what you want to see so generally speaking of course it depends from company to company but around 50 percent or lower is considered good yeah so the results were a little bit worse this year than compared to last year because they had big non-cash charges and non-cash uh, what it says is they had costs that were non-cash so what does that mean that means depreciation. So obviously they have to invest a lot in fiber, in in those antennas, in, in many different things, and those assets depreciate. So that means that they get worth less. So if you look at the total assets of the company, it has been going down be due to depreciation. Also adjusted uh, earnings per share were lower mainly due to the depreciation but also because of COVID and they estimate that it had an impact of nine uh, dollar cents per share so if you take all those things into consideration they actually did pretty well so full year report 171 billion cash from operations 43 billion that's a healthy profit margin if you ask me free cash flow 27 billion all looking really good and as you can see they had a really good fourth quarter if you look at mobility 800,000 net ads for postpaid phones in the full year 1.5 million so more than half in the last quarter 1.2 million postpaid net ads in the full year 2.2 million so more than half in the last quarter fastest 5g wireless network and eight consecutive quarter in a row the fastest network in the nation more fiber ads basically everything is growing if we look at the outlook for 2021 earnings per share stable revenue growth in the range of one percent stable gross capital investment 21 billion it's a little more than last year free cash flow 26 billion with a dividend payout ratio in the high 50 percent let's say they make 26 billion and they pay out 59 percent so 26 billion 95 percent and there's 7.6 billion shares outstanding so basically it's about two dollars and two cents so it's a little lower than i thought it was still 6.6 percent in dividend so that's pretty nice i like it a lot and that's also one of the biggest reasons why i want to buy this stock because of the dividend payment and the stability of the company i don't expect it to grow a lot they don't expect to grow a lot themselves maybe one percent two percent but again if they pay out a healthy dividend of two dollars per share and it's trading for thirty dollars per share right now so that means that within 15 years you will have your money back if they keep paying this kind of dividend if we look at the dividend history of AT&T you can see here 2011 43 per quarter they pay out every quarter 43 44 44 45 46 47 every time a small increase super steady haven't missed a quarter since that time so really great dividend really steady really stable so yeah really nice and basically the same as with deutsche telecom not a lot of risks super stable uh, nothing fancy is gonna happen you won't see 20 30 percent uh, returns you really do if you buy this company you really do it for the dividend payment and imagine if your bank offers you seven percent per year on your money sounds pretty good right so yeah and even if the stock price goes down if they can keep up the same amounts of revenue and the same amount of profit the dividend yield will stay the same so even if it goes to 15 dollars per share if they keep paying two two dollars per share it's amazing i will keep buying this because that really is a nice way to get that passive income stream 
So yeah guys, that was it for today. Please let me know what you think about the video and also I would really like to know in what stocks or ETFs you guys are investing. So please let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps me out. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I want to thank you for watching and like always, have a nice day.